hey everyone welcome back and welcome to a brand new tutorial on a google collab so in the last video we have seen about google collab markdown and in earlier videos we have seen some of the things related to google collab now time to save our work that how you can save your google collab file and how you can share with the other peers let's say if you want to share with your friends or you want to make it public how you can do it so we have already one Google Collab is available where we have written all those kinds of markdown kinds of cell. Let's see what are the ways we can save this Google Collab. So from the file, you can have a majority of times people use one options like a save a copy in a drive. So I'm just going to keep it like a save copy in a drive. And you can see it has saved this copy in a drive and created a completely brand new copy for us. And now this particular file is appearing inside the Google Drive. You can simply go to let's say drive.google.com and from here uh, you can see in a recently accessed file copy of Google Collab.ipynb file got appeared. So this way you can save all those uh, work whatever you have done and put it inside the google drive another way you can save your work like a from file save as a copy in a github so in that particular case you have to authorize with a, your github account and it will be uploaded to the github account so let me just authorize with the google collab here i have to provide password so let me just provide here And you can see now it got connected with a GitHub. They are saying that inside of which particular repository, I just want to put my all Google Collab. So let me select uh, one of them. Let's say I have a uh, one repository is available like a import data. So inside the import data, there is a commit message like a uh, created using Collaborate. You can keep here all those uh, custom messages also available and in which particular branch you want to so as of now for this particular repo i have just the uh, master branch is available so i'm just going to keep it this is the default commit message and the file name is google underscore collab dot ipynb file include a link in a collaboratory so let me just press ok all right and it is creating one more new copy i guess in my case, the pop-up was blocked, so I'm just going to enable it. All right. Now let me go to GitHub and we can just simply verify whether this file exists or not. So I have to select the repository. Now, in my case, I was already logged in, so it didn't ask me. And you can see inside the import hyphen data repository, there is a one file got uploaded. If you just click on it, uh, you will be able to see all those uh, work what we have done related to markdown is appearing here all right now there are some of the things uh, not visible clearly that is just uh, because of that is a google collab standard and here github is using open source jupyter notebook uh, specification for displaying this notebook purpose so this way you can say uh, i mean you can save your file in a drive you can save a copy in a github and locally I mean to say that after every periodic interval, if you want to save it, you can use this save. Otherwise, Google will automatically even do for you also. You can even do the downloading of this particular file in your local machine as a .py file also. You can do it as a .ipython notebook file also. So there are a number of ways you can do it. Now, this is about the saving your work on a number of different places. Apart from that, uh, we want to share with the other people. We want to share with your friends so in that case you can use this share option and there will be a two ways you can do it so first one will be share with the people or a groups so you can keep here individual your friends email id or the people with whom you want to share let's say i want to share with one of my friends or if you have a let's say google group email id so in that case you can share with a Google group also and all the people which is a part of those particular group, they will get notification and they can access your file. All right. 
Apart from that, there will be one more options like with whom you are sharing, what are the kinds of permission you want to give it. So let's say I just want them to just view it or I just want them to comment it. They just cannot edit it. So this way you can control even the permission also. Let me go back and there will be one more thing like a get link. So here anyone can see your link, this type of restriction, you can just simply remove it from here. So let me just change to anyone and now you can see this is the public link got appeared. So from here, either you can make it like a anyone with this link, they can access your notebook file or you can just make it restricted mode. If you want to make it restricted mode, only people who got the email, they can only, uh, I mean, just access your file. Otherwise, other people just cannot. And if you want to make it public, you can use this one. So this way, this is way the to get access to the link. And this is the way uh, you can share with the different people and a group. So this is how easy to share your work with the different people around the globe. And this is how you can save your file either on a Google Drive. So you do not need to worry about losing any kinds of data or you can save it inside the online version of this social coding website or GitHub. All right, so that is all about uh, how you can save your work inside the Google Colab and how you can share your work inside the Google Colab. I hope you enjoy listening to this video and see you into next video. Before that, please do like, hit, comment and subscribe my channel. See you into next video.